So I wanted to make a kind of part two video to my why I don't meditate anymore video that I did a few days ago to try to clear up some misconceptions or just be a little more concise on why I don't meditate anymore and do my best to clarify the differences between the sitting practice and meditation, which two degrees have similarities, but to me are, are, are very much different. I guess I'll start off by explaining my understanding of what meditation is and what the sitting practice that I'm doing is. So to me, meditation has to do with a sort of practice of observing your thoughts, contemplation, visualization, and self-exploration. I would say most forms of meditation deal with one or all of those things. And the sitting practice has nothing to do with observing your thoughts, contemplation, visualization, or self-exploration. The point of the sitting practice is learning to control your mind and developing a certain quality of your mind so you can have a more precise kind of laser focus with your attention. And that's not to say that you can't achieve that through meditation. And I know people have achieved that through meditation. Me personally, I just wasn't achieving that because I felt like I was getting the peace and calmness and tranquility from meditation, but also kind of more like zoning out and still, you know, having thoughts come up, watching my thoughts come up and then they'd go away. Another thought would come up and then they go away. Then sometimes I'd get caught in thoughts and then I'd loop in thoughts. And that's kind of what I was talking about in my previous video of how sometimes with meditation, the way it's taught of observing your thoughts, people can get attached to those thoughts and kind of loop. And with the sitting practice, it's trying to teach you how to ignore your thoughts, subordinate your thoughts, keep your thoughts at, at bay. So eventually you can get to, to the point where you can notice the fluidity of your mind when a thought is going to arise and stop it from arising and continue to focus on the task that you're doing at hand and not have those unwanted thoughts create more noise in your mind. I don't think most meditations are teaching that. I know some people might say like, well, what you're doing is a zazen meditation and while they are both a sitting practice, my understanding of Zazen is you do nothing, you observe your thought and you let it go. Where well, this is not doing nothing. This is an active exercise and skill of learning to ignore your thoughts and keep your thoughts that you don't want from populating your mind. Whereas with Zazen, you're letting your thought rise, you see the thought for what it is, and then it keeps going and then eventually dissipates and then another thought comes up and you let that one go and then another thought comes up. To me, these are different things. It is not in meditation because you're not observing your thoughts. You're not contemplating. You're not going through this self-exploration. It is learning a certain type of quality to control your mind and starve it. There's layers to this practice where first you start off learning to bring your mind into your body not through visualization or imagination, but really learning to absorb your mind into your body and learning to release the tension in your muscles through the absorption of your mind, which allows you to bring your mind deeper into your body when you can learn to release more tension. So you can have this more concise and precise, almost like laser focus, where you can get to A to B to C instead of, you know, A to Z to F to G, oh my God, there's a squirrel over there, and then finally get back to B. Or some people would be like, well, that's like Vipassana. I don't know if I'm saying that right, which is to me, and for my understanding, another way of just observing without attachment. So again, these types of meditations are still are ways of feeding your mind because if you're observing, that's another, you're looking at your thoughts, which is feeding your mind. And the sitting practice is, the whole point of it is learning to starve your mind so you can learn to go in your daily life without 
your mind craving all this need for attention and distraction. And for me, meditation was just helping me be mindful of my thoughts and what my thoughts are, but not necessarily creating less noise in my life. And what I'm doing with the sitting practice is helping me create less noise and helping me have a better focus. And that's for me personally. Maybe with your meditation, that's working for you. For me, it just wasn't working. And like I said in my other video, I'm not saying meditation is bad, but I think if people were to learn this type of sitting practice, they would see it's developing a different quality in their mind from what most people get out of meditation. Not everybody, but most people. From my experience of talking to other people and doing meditations with groups of people and being in communities like that, just an observation from listening to other people talk about their experiences. I hope this clarified some things. And if it didn't, well, you can go meditate on it. <laughs> and uh, still, you know, you're allowed to have your opinion. And uh, that's kind of the beauty of life. We all have our different perspectives and uh, I'm just sharing mine. So hopefully this was helpful in some way or you got a good laugh out of it. Uh, either way, I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day or night. I'll be back soon with another video on something else, I'm sure.